So I was speaking to you last time about what's the point of being a Christian? And I said to you, the point of being a Christian is so that you can become spiritual. And what's the point of being spiritual? So that you can be someone who can bring the spirit life, the God life, the abundant life, the, fi- the life, the truth, and the way of life into the earth. So people can glorify and honor God. And you can read that in 1 John, uh, in John chapter 15, verses 7 to 9. I'm going to quickly read it for you out of, um, out of the message translation. It says, but if you make yourself at home with me and my words are at home in you, you can be sure that whatever you ask will be listened to and acted upon. Who's going to act upon it? God is going to act on it. The angels, the Holy Spirit. This is how my Father shows who He is. When you produce grapes or you produce fruit, when you mature as my disciples. It goes on to say, I've loved you the way my Father has loved me. Make yourself at home in my love. This is the essence of how to be free. When you live in that kind of freedom, there is no external circumstance that can bring you down. Uh, You might say, well, if I don't have payment to pay my rent at the end of the month, then I'm done for. There's no freedom here. I'm totally captured by my life, my circumstances. Right now you might be. But if you have this word live in your heart and you live vitally united with Jesus in His word, connected to Him, speaking the desires of your heart, that are the desires He placed there because you're so connected to Him, then everything becomes possible and you experience a freedom that is beyond any circumstance that you can face. Now, many years ago, I became aware that people often used to speak, I don't like my job. I don't like the work that I do. And I'm just working to bring home a salary because I have to be responsible and I have to work to bring home a salary. I have to be honest with you that I've never had a day of that ever in my life. I guess the closest I got to feeling that way was when I was forced to do military conscription services. And so I had, as a, as a young man, a young adult, I had other young men shouting and screaming at me and telling me to do push-ups and sit-ups and to jump in the dirt and jump in dirty water and crawl all over the place and, and just all the time shout at you, scream at you, kick your shins, do all kinds of things so as to, to orientate you to what a soldier should look like and behave like. And I, I'd say that is probably just about the only time in my life I would say, oh, Lord, I'm not sure that I want to be here. But even then, What I did at that time of my life was I said, Lord, my government says I have to be here, but I'm going to find my freedom in your word and I'm going to find my freedom in you. So even in those circumstances, what used to happen is we used to have like drinks, drinks breaks. And while other people were drinking water and smoking cigarettes and and just lying on the ground, I would have my drink of water, but I would always had a pocket Bible with me and I'd take my pocket Bible out and I would read my Bible and I remained vitally connected to Jesus through His Word when I was in military service. You know what happened? Is that every time I read the Bible, those words energized me and gave me strength to get through that moment, the next hour, the next few hours, the next few days, just day by day by day until I got through the whole thing. I can only thank God for that. I want to, I want to read you this passage of Scripture from John 5. Verse 17 says, But Jesus answered them, My Father has worked even until now. He has never ceased working. He is still working, and I too must be at divine work. I'm giving you some answers today, and I'm giving you some some tools that will help you that if you have lost your job, reduced salary, taken have to had to take leave so that companies are doing everything that they can to survive, and that's your part that you have to play. It might have a very negative impact on your income and your ability to live without stress. But I've got news for you that you can still work. And yes, is the work that you can do. You must work the word. Jesus 
the, the Passion Translation says, Jesus answered his critics by saying, every day my father is at work and I will be too. 